Americans were remembering the day that changed America forever. 23 years ago, terrorists attacked the United States. And today at Ground Zero, President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, former President Donald Trump and his vice presidential nominee, Senator J.D. Vance, were all at the ceremony together. Hundreds of people in the metro, too, made the climb, honoring 343 firefighters who were killed responding to those 9-11 attacks. Thanks for joining us on Fox News at 10 o'clock. I'm Kevin Barry. I'm Lauren Halifax. The Twin Towers were 110 stories each. That's how many levels people scaled at Arrowhead Stadium earlier tonight. Fox for Shannon Russo is live at Arrowhead now. It had a different vibe than usual, but the hundreds of people who turned out for this first ever event really brought a deep sense of purpose to it. And they did lure in the stadium. Obviously now is empty here at 10 o'clock, but earlier many, many people were here to honor the lives lost 23 years ago. Event organizers telling us about 500 or so people showed up today. Right now, live outside of Arrowhead flags are at half staff, reminding us that the cost of freedom is not free. Oops, two, three, four, come on. Step by step, with each breath getting harder to catch. It's a struggle. Hundreds are making the 30 trips up and down Arrowhead's lower level to match the 110 floors that made up each of the Twin Towers, a climb that 343 firefighters did not survive. I hope we never forget it. I hope we always do something like this in honor of those who gave their lives trying to save people. So I hope we always do it. Franklin Bohr is a volunteer firefighter in Easton, a small town just outside St. Joe. Despite having a hip replacement nine months ago, he put on roughly 80 pounds of gear in the Kansas City heat. That's what they had to do. So if I'm going to do it in honor of them, I have to do it the same way that they did it or the best I can. Around his neck, a lanyard bearing the name and image of the firefighters killed that day. Each person here is wearing one, including first responder John McLaughlin. Even though I've been in the fire service for 15 years, military for 16, coming to this day never gets easier. So just remembering everything, everything that they sacrificed, everything they pushed their bodies to do that day, it's incredible. Local business, Lexi J Wellness put on the event. All proceeds from the 9-11 climb are going to the local charity SAFE which supports the families of first responders in Kansas City who have died in the line of duty. I would love for everyone to finish, but you know, it's not a race. It's one of those things where just the participation and the, you know, the movement, the gesture itself is really special. The hope is that this becomes a yearly event to put into focus what we lost on that fateful day 23 years ago. Never forget. I don't want that memory to ever be forgotten. More than 500 people registered for this event and at $40 per person to climb the stairs today, that is at least $20,000 that is going to that local charity. Lauren. Shannon Russo, live at Arrowhead tonight. Thank you.